Hey everybody, Patrick Tian, LICSW, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be getting into a role play to showcase the gray rock method technique, which I'm sure you guys have heard about right now. The gray rock method is about disengaging from someone who is very narcissistic. And I'm gonna be doing that role play between a mother who has narcissistic personality disorder and a daughter. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, consider hitting subscribe to the channel. You can also check out my website for some new childhood trauma coursework. And if you feel like this channel is, is Im important to your recovery, you can also support the channel through Patreon. And I'll put all the links in the description to the below on this video. Okay, so the gray rock method is used to totally disengage from a narcissist and master our own dysfunctional tendency to be reactive with the narcissist. We're looking for responding as opposed to reacting, which is a big difference between those two things. And the exercise of gray rock is more about our tendency to get into it with a narcissist than it is about the narcissist themselves. In a similar video I did, I'll put the link somewhere, either up here or in the description below, I did a role play, a similar role play with a narcissistic mother and a daughter. And that was about, in that third part of the role play was about looking at what it, what it looks like to be empowered with a narcissist. That means to be very boundary, that means to be sort of very assertive, if not aggressive with them. And it's very interesting to sort of see that. But going gray rock is totally different than that because in many ways we become cold, not almost non-communicative, well not, we communicate so much less. And we also become indifferent to them as a way for them to sort of pass by us. You know, narcissists see us as tools or objects and the gray rock method helps train them to dislike us instead of use us. There's a big difference between those two things, which I'll come back to later in the video. Gray Rock takes practice, growth, and skill. And while there are amazing resources that describe the technique, we still don't quite know what Gray, Lock, Gray Rock looks like. And that's why I do these role play videos to give you sort of a sense about what the whole thing looks like when it's sort of played out. So the scenario is a narcissistic mother calls her daughter and demands that she do the makeup for her sister's wedding. So there's narcissistic mother up here, two daughters, one is getting married, the one in this role play is being forced to do the makeup for the other one because mom fired the makeup artist. Um, you can think about mom as sort of a momzilla in this. And as a side note, guys, if you're in a place in your recovery where you already have no contact with a toxic parent or a narcissistic parent, um, and you already have sort of mastered gray rock and all that kind of stuff, this video might be moot to you. But I say this because these videos, these role plays are educational and they welcome all at all stages in their recovery. And what I mean by all that is that I see a lot of comments, it's like, oh, you never call your mom, you never do that, you don't even engage with them, that kind of a thing. It's sort of like, that. all of that's unnecessary because everybody has to start somewhere. So here goes, here's the role play and we'll just get into it. So listen, I solved your sister's problem with the makeup artist. Oh, hi mom, hi. I didn't know there was a problem with the makeup artist. Just listen to me, okay? The problem was your sister kept having to add more bridesmaids and the person kept upping her fee and trying to price gouge us just because the plan changed. Unbelievable, right? Well, mom, I think they have to bring in a second makeup artist when you have that many, when you have that many bridesmaids to get it all done. Honey, that's what they all say. They're no different than sketchy contractors. Just shut up and listen for a minute. Listen, I told your sister that you'd be happy to do all the makeup for her and the bridesmaids Let's just cut the middleman out of this, and you know, you can just call it your wedding gift to her. Can you believe that the makeup artist threatened us to not give the deposit back? The wedding isn't for a month, and that's plenty of time to cancel. She gave us this line of bull that she's been holding the date for a year, hence the need for the deposit. Come on. M Mom, I think that's how they all work. Just be quiet for a minute. Listen, no one threatens me as a consumer. Like, boo-hoo, she lost the date. I'm more than happy to show up in court about it. And this saves so much money by having you do the makeup. And I know you love doing it since you're the best at it out of all of us. Your sister did say she didn't know about you being able to handle it, but I think you'll be amazing at it. And you'll save money at not getting her something from the gift registry. Mom, mom, I'm on her, but I'm not that good and that's a lot of people and I already got her a gift from the registry. So you can return it. Listen, 
You'll need to be with us at the hotel at seven. And do you think two hours is enough time for you to do your sister, the 12 bridesmaids and me? And you know what, screw your sister's mother-in-law, by the way, I can't stand her. You know, she can find her own person. Enough of this coffee cap nonsense with us. Mom, please listen, I can't, I can't do this. I've only assisted on a wedding and that many people takes three makeup artists in the amount of time. And then there's touch-ups asser and then a photo shoot. Do not upset me on this. You will do it for your sister and you will not fall apart just because it's a time crunch. I'm not going to look bad on this. Listen, I'll tell everyone to not be picky, but you know, but your sister and I should get more time. Mom, I'm sorry, but it's just not humanly possible to do that many people in two hours. It would at least take four with two people doing it at all. Oh my God, this doesn't have to be hard. Just handle it. Grab a girlfriend who can do it with you. You still have friends, right? If you ruin your sister's day, I swear I'll disown you. Okay, okay mom, I won't, I won't, I won't let you down. But do you know, do you know if everyone can get to the ceremony earlier so I can have more time? Look, don't bother me with trying to be the messenger in this. I'm sure you know all of your sister's friends. You can figure it out. And if the groom's mother asks, just make something up. She doesn't need to know we change people, okay? It's her fault for piggybacking on us, like the way with the one we had. Well, mom, shouldn't she at least know? Ah! You're pissing me off. Just do it. It's easy. Grab some mascara, some foundation, some eyeliner from the store on the way to hotel and make it happen. Jesus, don't make me regret me saving all this money. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll be there and I'll just talk to them and I'll, I'll figure it out. So guess what? I solved your sister's problem with a makeup artist. Hi mom, just FYI, I only have a minute or so for this call. Nice try, but this involves you, so just, just listen and pay attention, okay? The problem your sister had with the makeup person was that she needed to add more bridesmaids, and the person kept upping her fee, trying to price gouge your sister just because the plan changed. Can you believe that? Hello? Mom, makeup artists have to charge by the person, and what does this have to do with me? <laughs> Honey, that's what they all say about charging. Just shut up for a minute and pay attention. You seem sleepy. Listen, I told your sister that you'd be happy to do all the makeup for her and the bridesmaids. Let's just cut out the middleman out of this, and let's just call it your wedding gift to her. Can you believe that the makeup person also threatened to not give the deposit back? The wedding isn't for a month, and that's plenty of time to cancel. She gave us some line of bull that she's been holding the date for a year, and that's why she had a deposit in the first place? Come on. I'm not doing the makeup for this wedding. I'm just attending, and I plan on leaving early. No. It's too late for that. I volunteered you, and you're going to do it. Back to the makeup person. No one threatens me as a consumer. Like, boo-hoo, she lost the date, and I'm happy to show up in court about it. And listen, this saves so much money by having you do the makeup, and I know you love doing it, and since you're the best at it. Your sister did say that she didn't know if you'd be able to handle it, but I know you'll be amazing at it. And you'll save money at not getting her something from the gift registry. I have to go in a sec, and I'm not doing the makeup for this wedding. I'm just attending, and you guys will have to figure out something else. You're doing it, or you will ruin your sister's day and make me look bad. I swear to God, if you F this up, I will have everyone disown you. You guys will just have to find someone else, and it'll be fine. You know, I really have to go in a minute. You should be grateful that I'm involved at all in this. Since your sister is finally getting married, and God knows you're decades away from finding somebody. Listen... I'm not looking bad in this, and you're just going to do it. You'll look however you'll look, Mom, and this doesn't involve me. Honey, listen. I don't think you get how important you are in this. I'll explain it. You are now the only option. I can't get this woman back in. And I know you won't forgive yourself if you let your sister down on the biggest day of her life, okay? Hey, Mom, I really have to get off the phone, and I, I don't want to be rude and cut you off. <laughs> You're pissing me off! This doesn't have to be this hard. Just do it. Just grab a girlfriend who can do it with you and just do it. Sounds hard, but this doesn't involve me and you have to find another makeup artist. What is wrong with you? Are you medicated? Did you have a fall or something? I'm getting worried about you that maybe you have a mental health issue going on. Well, I have to go and I'm sure you'll think of something. 
I'll make sure you no longer have a seat at this wedding, or at least you won't be sitting with us. Have fun sitting at the miscellaneous crowd table, okay? Ah! So coming back to this issue of getting the narcissistic parent or the toxic parent to dislike us through gray rock is that's an uncomfortable thing to practice. Because what I find that, including myself when I started my own work, is that childhood trauma survivors really struggle with guilt and shame, especially around our own identity, meaning are we a good person or a bad person. And the narcissistic or toxic parent has a lot of power over us to sort of tell us who we are. So that discomfort in practicing this stuff is usually our kryptonite. And it's, it's the thing to overcome because it's like we assume the narcissistic parent is the authority on who we are, like in that first role play where that daughter submitted because she couldn't tolerate the manipulation or shame or you're bad, you're going to ruin your sister's sort of day with that stuff. And so it takes a lot of work. It's not just practicing a technique, as I find is that I'm trying to get my clients to have a healthy foundation that you're a good person, that you have a right to your own choices, that you're not responsible for everyone else's feelings, um, and there's a give and take in healthy relationships. And all of that is off the table when we have a parent like this. But it's actually incredibly freeing. It's the greatest thing that I, I, have, I, I have gratitude in my life is the freedom from how I used to be so wrapped up in my toxic parents. What they thought about me was who I was. And it's incredibly freeing to get out of that and to practice these things and to do some deeper work in that way. And imagine knowing who we are and valuing who we are, that we don't need a toxic parent's approval. Because when, when we start this stuff, we're in a deficit for approval, and then someone like this mother can come along and say, you want approval? You do the thing. And that's sort of how it works with this stuff. You know, mothers like this in the beginning of someone's trauma recovery, they have so much power over their children. And it gets better and better with the more that we sort of disengage from them or really take a deeper look into our family system. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Lastly, check out the description of this video because I want to just add some final notes about when do you not practice gray rock and when do you do power differentials, examples of that, that kind of a thing. And I hope this video was helpful to you guys. You know, if it was helpful, leave a comment, hit like, subscribe. And as always, I'll leave you with, may you be filled with loving kindness. May you be well. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be joyous. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.